number of people like some of the seductive talk on 900 numbers. If we numbers. threw out of our libraries and off of our newsstands and oh, off of God. our telephone system and off of our highways, everything, that it's, it's going to offend some minorities. We would have no okay, freedom carry on, carry to on. think and be informed. Uh, so I, I believe practically broadcasting is dug in. It's immovable. Cable now is so rich and their political roots are so thick, I say it with great sadness, kale is practically immovable. So what is the, so the alternative is not the alternative because fiber optics has made it possible for the telephone companies to remain common carriers, be available to everybody and everybody with ideas to sell as well as to get. Uh -huh. And it was Nicholas Johnson who, uh made it possible. And it was Nicholas Johnson who uh, made it possible for the, we, us to bring up the whole matter of public access to the Cable Commission. Um, again, do you view yourself as an artist primarily? How do you describe no, yourself? No, I regard myself as a, an educator. An educator, I see, an educator. Uh, occasionally something that I do uh, becomes a work of art. Right. But that's almost by accident. How interesting. So your initial impetus is to educate people, to give them knowledge. Now... Um, but also remember that making films and being in the broadcast industry is somewhat selfish. Um, I th it gives me an excuse to stick my nose into lots of other people's business. <laughs> it gives me a chance to meet people I wouldn't uh, meet otherwise. Right. Uh, for example, uh, one of the things I've been working on for a long time is a film called Getting Out mm -hmm. uh, about a drama group in Sing Sing Prison and its influence on people when they do get out. Really? How would I have ever met those fellas? Right. Uh, without that, and some of them who are out now are, are my g very good friends. So y you finished this project? Oh yes, the Getting Out is, is finished and we're making a second one called Staying Out. Well, we have something else in common. I used to teach meditation in San Quentin prison. <laughs> and the warden at San Quentin uh, was open mm -hmm. to coming if I could have a conference about punishment never works. That's my dream. Mm -hmm. And I also met the nun who inspired Dead Man Walking at Trinity Church. She also was, was open to, to introducing mm -hmm. um, nobler models in front of people. That's what I'm saying as an artist. By the end of what you were going to be reading to the city council, uh, about the variety of people, young people, old people, people speaking different languages, all of this is so fascinating to viewers, and all of a sudden you transcend, you know, worrying about who owns it. I mean, you, you're, you're vigilant, mm -hmm. you take care of it, but at the end of the day, it's the importance of the people's voice being heard that's going to make it or break it. And if you can encourage those voices to step out, I think th the greediest person's heart would melt. Have you experienced people that have done a change? Oh, yes. Uh, I think all my babies, for example. I've met time after time after time, people have told me, I saw that film and, and I decided to go into nursing. I saw that film and I decided to be a midwife. I saw that film and I decided to have a midwife. Wow. Wow. Now, what about your, your one on the prisons? The men in the prison? Yeah. Uh, I... I certainly got to know not only what it's like to be in prison, but how hard it is when they get out. Right. Two of the uh, the fellows uh, who we featured in Getting Out are now unfortunately back inside. Right, right, right. Well, you know my own journey, what it was is uh, when I was teaching Transcendental Meditation in San Quentin, 
I had a friend of mine who did the equivalent of a master's degree. She already had a PhD in physiology, some hard science. And she was very orderly and very meticulous. And so she calculated the recidivism rate for the inmates who learned meditation as opposed to those who didn't. Mm -hmm. And by this time, I was uh, good friends with the warden. He really liked the results. He had inherited a terrible situation from a prior warden where they solved the tension of gangs by keeping the men locked down. Mm -hmm. So he inherited this really bottled up, tense-filled prison. For it, it had been under that lockdown order for months. And he was starting to, you know, let them walk around more and things like that. So, um, and it was an, a wonderful experience for me. But I remember when my friend's study was presented to the state of California, you could actually calculate the millions of dollars that could be saved. Mm. And they didn't give us any money whatsoever. And that's when I walked away from it. I said, if I keep teaching for free, I'm, I've got bigger problems than these guys I'm teaching. <laughs> and I said, I want to go out and learn how to speak the language of this world, which seems to be money. So I went out and I did call to myself an experience where I made money in cellular telephone licenses. But I could see money isn't the answer either, you know? And, and I can empathize with people who do have money and are searching for a way to make a social contribution, but they become so overwhelmed, they don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. Yet, you seem to be starting time and time again. You know? Well, remember that uh, I've been fortunate enough to have a job as a teacher which gives me some time off, mm -hmm. and it also also a part of my job. Uh, the, the university expects me to continue in production. I see. And also, it expects me to stay in touch with my former students when they get out and make films. And so, I very right. often work with them. Right. In fact, David Bagnell, who is my partner now, was a student of mine ten years ago. Wow. And. Uh, the crew of, uh, of all my babies uh, were people whom I met in either Cable or at NYU and or my other teaching jobs. Uh, the, the, practically all of them were, were, were people I met at that time. Do you think um, Harold Channer uses this term dazzle gradually, that if we knew all knowledge, we couldn't handle it? Do you? What do you think is the responsibility of a public access producer? Do you think it's possible to give people too much knowledge? I think that uh, the the first the producer's first responsibility is to give his guests uh, a chance to express their views. The second thing is to the responsibility to give his viewers, his or her viewers. Uh, information which will help them. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I want to scrutinize these pages of Sidney Dean's widow uh, of the archives, but it seemed from, in glancing over, there was a lady named Lois, I can't remember her last name now, but Cunningham or? Lois know, Kerensky. Maybe, maybe that was it. She had a paper that she had worked on, I think, with his collaboration. I know he wasn't a professor, but. Conniff. Conniff, okay. Conniff? Oh, Conniff? Uh, Lois, uh, Conniff, yes. Conniff, Conniff. Uh, Lois Conniff. Oh, yes. Yes, yes I remember so, that. So the, per the paper was called The Electronic Grapevine. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that concept? I don't remember the book. But, but you can kind of figure yes, out the idea that through electronics we can uh, spread knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the Internet has certainly become that. Mm -hmm. But somebody coined the phrase the other day in my little Gramercy Park studio that we're developing the electronic salon that in the old days you would have writers or artists assemble, but their work was shared through their writing or through their art. And today, it's shared through the Internet. Something that bothers me a bit about the Internet is that uh, people are not meeting one another. Physically. Physically. Me too. Uh, I, I go into a, a large office and I see uh, people staring at... Yes. Staring at the screen. Living in their own worlds. Yes. And, right. Uh, doing emails. But right. 
I, I found that to find that a bit hard, but well, maybe it's because of my generation. I don't no, know. No, no, I think you are so right. I think because you know studying natural medicine and Ayurveda, and that's why I'm going to the project I'm going to work on is to get all my babies and then roll in some mm -hmm. of this um, uh, video about Ayurveda in India, is that we are creatures of the earth, of the air, of the fire, of of water, and we need to balance. And I think physical encounters are really important. So I uh, I'm really glad that you tune into that. Um, would now be a nice time for a roll-in on what some sure. of these young people mm -hmm. have done? It's going to be very different. I, okay. It's even right. different for me. Yes, uh, all you right. know. If you're ready for that roll-in, it should be, uh, Joe, on the Internet, and you click that bottom right um, corner to make it big, to make it big, and then you bring up the sound on Apple, and let's just see what happens. But the reason I'm so interested in this piece is because it's using fair use. It's artists on the internet who trade and, you mm -hmm. know, share. I had posted the show on Friday, and by Sunday, this is what I got back. It was mm -hmm. majorly using mm -hmm. my show, but cutting in from a lot of other different places. And it's really a new art form. It may be something I didn't grow up mm -hmm. with, or you didn't, but it's on the scene, and it has its, in its roots it couldn't exist without these thoughts mm -hmm. of public access and, the, and the, the public being able to share. If you could just bring the sound up. Still no sound again. On the, on the, bottom, on the right, he's putting the names of all of the people that he uh, picked up to use. Mm. It says, Music 41 was a young man that I had in the studio. He came up from Pennsylvania and Paula Gloria. And uh, I think we're going to have to use that trick again, whatever. <laughs> this is the Muppets. So uh, basically, this is when Gloria was just sort of feeling this isn't really art. She stopped the tape. And so they're kind of doing a parody on what what is art and then that's me with the chroma key and that's the young artist You may have to watch this at home. <laughs> We're not getting sound on okay. the Apple. Okay, let's just uh, cut it. I don't want to take any more of, of Mr. Stoney's time, and we'll just finish up the interview. I'll, I'll do it in post-production, and you can see it in the convenience of your okay. own home. <laughs> All right. Uh, it, in any case, I just wanted you to get a feeling of, of how art mm -hmm. evolves. And I think many of the people on the Internet would agree with you. They would like to meet the people mm -hmm. in Kathmandu and mm -hmm. all parts of the world that they're reaching. Uh, do you have any concluding thoughts? Well, <coughs> cable television, public access, is only a vehicle. It's a vehicle for getting people to get together more, to support their community more. It's not something that I hope that's not something that will keep people just looking at the screen. Right, right, absolutely. And I think it was also brought out at the hearing. I think you had left because it went on till seven thirty. Um, somebody proposed that Google would do a better job. <laughs> than Time Warner, and I became very alarmed, totally changed what I had been planning to say, because part of what I was going to roll in was taken from many producers on, on YouTube who've mm -hmm. had their sites taken down, and it looks into some of the controversial material about 9-11 and the media mm. uh, not showing faithful images of what was happening. And my feeling was, is this is now... Uh, even more than just having people just staring at screens and not actually mm -hmm. interacting with their community, 
but going out and making the story of their community, if this is done, we can ensure our national security. I, f I feel it's that urgent. So. Well, I think the commune you've, con you've constructed to produce your shows here yeah. is a good example. That's true. And we all have very different opinions, yeah. you know, on what's yeah. happening. But what always draws us together is uh, some kind of desire to do art and even mm -hmm. to take a difference, even to take a, a negative situation. Mm -hmm. Like, I could see the young artist was really stunned when somebody <laughs> slammed it and said, you're wasting your time and this is just uh, rep repetitive yeah. and monotonous. But I was stunned a little too. And then I thought, you know what? We got an honest response from the control room. You know, so let's work with that. Mm -hmm. So I posted the whole thing in its entirety. Good. Okay, so thank you very much for thank joining you. me. And Pleased thank to be here. Yes, and I hope, um, well, stand by for, okay. for all my babies, okay. and I'll look more into your prison thank project. You. Too. And meanwhile, I hope the visitors will Google all my babies and uh, order copies, because the, it, the profits go to the Mary Frances Coley Scholarship Fund in Albany State University, where it supports young people who are going into rural medicine. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Stoney. So we've been listening to George Stoney talking about his experience with public access, reminding us that cable is not a replacement for uh, living our lives, but rather should become a vehicle for us sharing our lives more. So thank you for joining me. Thank you. As the 9-11 guy, but you made me realize he's he's a musician. Nobody's gonna listen to it on public access. They gotta turn it fucking Show it. If, if you can show the page, and we can talk through it. Oh, hi! What a discovery! Hmm? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, whoa! 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 Yeah. I know, that's comedy relief. Whoa! Whoa! That's comedy. Yo! 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 When you, the way you do things, you. Thank you. Not you, Gonzo. Tony. Tony, question. Well, couldn't you? I don't think there's any reason for me to hang around here any longer. I say, I say, let's, 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 let's do it right now. Let's take it out of home. What was the last one?
Have you did the soft porn? The um, nothing but hot girls. Nothing but hot girls. I must say, ladies and gentlemen, his mastery of this topic just just really lifts up the the, the essence of femininity. Number three on the dancers and take two. Want to, Joe? No, we'll do another. I have music and I sing the songs all year. To do what? To show you what you can't, what you wouldn't notice by yourself. I have music and I sing the Guys, the audience seemed to be taken by him. So is Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Bozzy, take camera two. Sort of to break you out of your normal, everyday consciousness, consciousness and make you look at something from a different perspective. And, and to bring harmony and beauty into it. That even though it's gruesome, that somehow, because it's the reality, you are going to do it. If you wanted to play that one, that's um, on the bottom of that page. Yeah. That's, on if, the second page? Yeah, if you wanted to roll that Should one. Should we out. do another rolling? You, you you cut it out. Yeah, but it's total repetition. You want no. to waste the whole, waste the whole show on this? That's the art. That's the art, Gloria. You want to waste your show? You're on the yes, air. You yes, can put it yes, in yes. like... What's that? The answer is yes. The answer is yes, Gloria. We'll, we'll have to start it all over again. <laughs> because... No, you can't, you can't do that. you got to start... you got to start from the beginning. Okay. That's the art. It's a waste to some people. It's a waste to some people? Yeah. Nobody's going to listen to it on public access. they got to turn it fucking off. I, I hope we have your voice recorded. Yeah, I can use We that. do, actually. Let me use that in the mix. Okay, we're, okay, that's fine, Gloria. We're making art. One way or another, we're all part of this. <laughs> Are you lighting up, John? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Gloria doesn't want to do it, so we won't do it. What is that? I know what that is. That 
that's music. But let's continue on with the discussion. So that was an example of a very sophisticated underground uh, expression of music. And in listening to you with Nico last night, I could again appreciate that. Can you talk about this type of music? Well, obviously, it's not for everyone. Some people just don't get it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's very easy to look at it and dismiss it as repetition. Right. But there's more to it than that if you give it a fair chance. Right. I think so. I, I, can I ask you something? What else is there besides repetition? I didn't like it. What do the avocado think? It's the pits. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there besides repetition? Yes, what is it? It's a synthesizer and it's iMovie. It's not a synthesizer and it's not iMovie. It's all done well, by... It sounds like a synthesizer. It sounds like a synthesizer, but it's not a synthesizer. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't watched it. Believe what? I don't know. I wasn't watching. Oh! <laughs> and, uh, Why would you want to imitate a synthesizer and call it on? Hey, you old fool. You slept through the show. Who's a fool? You watched it. <laughs> Note, you can chop the video up. And it's very enjoyable to some people. This show is awful. Terrible. Disgusting. See you next week. Of course. It's, it's also a new expression of art because people didn't have these tools in the past, so you're actually using it in a new way. It's, it's tape media, and not just absorb it, but use it. Wait, excuse me, did you study subliminal messages? I've because that's what this is, subliminal messages. This is nice. Looks like a bug. What's the subliminal message? There is no message there, and I don't know what you're trying to get across, but your other, the one with the uh, airplane, is a subliminal message. What's the subliminal message? What you're trying to say, which I believe, however, that heavy, 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 heavy. I don't know what you're saying. Banging, 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 repetition. You can't make an accusation. You can't make an accusation. That subliminal is a constant repetition. In the sentence you just said, there was a subliminal message, and I picked up one. Prove me wrong. Well. Finally, we've seen them do a good show. Good. Can we please stop coming now? $2, I think, a French movie for a foreign movie, and I gotta see this, John. exactly the spot. What is that?